Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading, and I wanted to give you the video update for the uh, solid bar LED area. So let me go ahead and open this up, and then I'll grab the camera and bring it over here so you can take a look. This is just a greenhouse plastic hanging over the top here, as I've said in many other videos, but uh, just always want to keep you kind of for new viewers that come in and check out this channel. That way I kind of give you an update on all my stuff that I'm using. And they can always find out down below in the show more notes. It'll have all a list of all the equipment that I use and all my grow tents for all my uh, veggie greens. And if somebody wants to get that same type of equipment and use it for other types of herbs, as you can say, or some kind of medicinal use, uh, it could be helpful to you guys too. All right. So inside here, I've moved over the, uh, I believe this was a beta salad mix. So I moved it over off the top side on the other one and I put it into here. This is gonna be our first cut we're gonna have off of this one this week. So uh, these are one of the, the last few trays that I have. I think I've got like two more that don't have the markings of what the, you know, the, the produce is or the seed type or variant. And uh, you know, this one here, I was planning on harvesting all this out, but uh, I've been taking pieces. You know, Paula and I came down here and we harvested off a bunch of this and we sauteed it up like I mentioned in last week's video. And, uh, well, that stuff is good. That's like, This is the Silverado chard. It doesn't have a label on it, but I know this is the Silverado chard because I have the same exact one growing out in our outdoor grow area in the uh, raised garden boxes that are on our back deck. But uh, that one there, you can see the, the growth on that guy. It's put on some good good growth, and we're using these new uh, Oledo lights. I think that's how you pronounce those. But these are the 300-watt uh, second-generation daylighters. And uh, these... Uh, chart seems to really like this. I mean, it's put on a lot of new growth this last week compared to last week when I actually put these lights in here. Uh, this one here is, I believe, another uh, beta salad mix. And, you know, these, these just do not seem to do as well as I would expect for the amount of uh, energy that I'm putting down on top of these guys. I mean, you can see that light is 19 inches above these trays. And I mean, I'm getting growth. And I can get a harvest of a salad off this, but I took the the one that was here last week, I harvested it off, and it went to the compost bin. I'm not going to even try to uh, do second cuts on these. These are basically one and dones because uh, I've got way more productive seed that I can be putting inside my tent to give me a much higher yield for our weekly intake of vegetables. And then here's a the uh, hot mix, I believe. That was the, the name of this one since I don't have a tag on it. But I did get some more seed of that and I'll be seeding it. But you can see there's been some growth. We actually harvested a little bit of it back here. It's a little bit shorter. We took some out of this out and uh, cut it. Just a couple of cuttings just to throw a little spice into our uh, salad this weekend we had. And uh, this week I'm going to be harvesting probably all of this tray, you know, taking it down, you know, a couple inches. And I'll probably leave this tray in here just to see how it recovers inside of this one with comparison to the one that I have inside the, uh, the mid-size grow tent we are running. Because I have a corresponding tray of the same stuff in there as you'll see in the, this week's video I talk about it on the top shelf. And uh, I may even actually take this one and put it back into the, the top shelf spot and take its corresponding, you know, brother and put it out here and uh, I can harvest off it. And then I'll decide whether I want to uh, keep both of those or if I just want to put one of them back in the rotation and I'll toss the other one out to the compost heap whichever one looks like it's going to be the easiest to get back to a uh, second cut but uh, that's kind of the update for the uh, mid-sized grow tent Let me back this up here so you can get a little better shot of our setup you can see the timer got up there I unplugged the uh, the actual light timer so I can plug in the lights so that way it'll just light up it's a little easier than trying to push the little buttons on that these little timers are a little different than the ones that I'm running for the other tent. For my big, two big tents, I have a, a more expensive timer. But uh, that's kind of the setup. And for those of you that have never, uh, or maybe new to this channel, one of the things that I built for this is a harvest tray underneath. You can see there's a tray that looks like it moves with a handle. Well, it does. And this makes it very convenient new harvests. So now you can just stand to the side, flip off your vegetables, either Paula or I myself, and uh, 
makes it a whole lot easier than trying to reach in there or having to slide the trays out and balance them on the edge while you're trying to cut and harvest. But uh, yeah, it makes it convenient. You can kind of just come on over here and stand to the side, pick what you want, and when you're done, I mean, this does. What I've done is I used actual uh, old kitchen drawer slides from our old kitchen, and I built this onto a little tray, and then I just got regular old. Uh, black garbage plastic bags there for when it drips and runs off so that way it keeps the uh, the plywood over there a little drier in case I get a little you know runoff but uh, when I'm done harvesting you just slide the tray back in and it locks into position you know because it has the drawer slide locks you just have to pull a little harder to get past those but uh, makes it nice and easy all right well spin this around spin Brian from B&B Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye.